Can you share it, Red? Thank you. I don't need that. Oh, I'm live. Hi, everybody. This is, I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um, almost put one all over this. Um, hi, Jane. Glad you joined us. I am getting ready. I have to make a Christmas bowl. So I thought I'd get on here and talk to you guys and make your Christmas bowl. So we're going to make this Christmas bowl here. And I think I have everything next to me. I just realized I think I lost my pipe cleaners. <laughs> I'm still moving stuff. I gave up my big room, my big craft room. And we're also going to make the little three um, tier bowls or whatever you call them. I gave up my big craft room so that we could have a um, bigger family room and a fireplace for the widow. Yes. Got to love fireplaces, right? Anyway, so what we're going to do is I went ahead and I pre-cut um, four of my gold and four of my the red ones. And now what I have to do is cut the other ones. Hi, Jane. Um, which we're going to go ahead and do. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, small screen silver. Now these, I do believe these all came from Sam's. Um, oh, I'm doing pretty good, Jane. Considering my throat, my back, I'm doing good. And it was not a blood clog. Yay. I guess it was, it was some kind of an infection in my leg. They don't know. Apparently, I stepped on something. Who knows? But I'm fine. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and lower you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, once again, I did forget my pipe cleaners. Watch out, Liz. It's all right, love. My dog, you don't like me. No, no, no. They're getting used to everything being changed. So, if you hear my dog barking, forgive us. They're trying. <laughs> Jamie says, thank God, and Tammy says, hey. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, I agree, uh, Jane. But I still have to do a diet. But that's okay. I'm more than willing right now to do that. So, anyways, let's go ahead and lower you guys. And let's make this bow. Let me back you guys up just a little. So I can lower you down. Watch your eyes. And. I think that's not quite good. There we go. Let me move it this way. Okay. What you need today is for what we're doing is three different rib ribbons. They are all, I do believe, two inches and they are wired. So they will hopefully hold. Um, like I said, there's three different colors of ribbons and they were all got from Sam's. So, let's just go ahead. What I did is I wanted 16 inches. Um, I know some people do 18 or less. I just want to do 16. And technically, if I think about it, it may be actually be 18 because one starts here and I'm starting at zero. So, there are actually going to be 17. I'm sorry. You need your little Samson's cutter. Go <laughs> yep, Samson's going to bed. That would help if you unlock it, right, guys? Let's get that unlocked here. You guys, if you wouldn't mind, uh, please like and bless, or what do they call it, if you like this. All right, so let's get started. I just need four more of these. I got all the other ones pre-cut. Oops, go on, go. Over here. I really like this ribbon. It's pretty. It's not the best one I received. But it is a very nice ribbon, very pretty colors. There's two. I am cutting four of each, but I may not use them all in a bowl. We're going to decide that as we go. It doesn't want to cut. Come on, little one. Okay, one more. There we go. It was being stuck. 
one too. Cuddle. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. What I would recommend you guys, because I didn't do this first time, is go ahead and cut your tails. So all the, before you make your bow. Some people don't. I'm going to. That way I don't have to go back and do it again. Unless we decide we don't want them that long. So we're just going to go ahead and cut them. Just because we can. I should have done some of this before. But that's alright. I don't want to keep them all the same. So the ones I'm cutting first, I'm going to go ahead and use that on as a pattern for my next one. You do not have to do it that way, but I do want to kind of keep the same length if possible. So I'm just going to use that as a basic guide. That's going to get that edge I did not want to cut. Okay. Remember, guys, these things have little. Um, why it was in them and once you cut them uh, watch out your grandbabies if you drop them or your children if you drop it on the floor because god they hurt <laughs> I should know I did that earlier I literally stabbed myself in the hand with those little tiny slivers and on my feet Ugh. oh yes of course I'm always barefoot if I can get away with it Throw those in the garbage right away. Sorry, table moved. Thank you, Jane. I appreciate it. Oops. Let me go ahead and fix that one. See what it did. It's okay. We'll just straighten it out just a little. There we go. Okay, we got those four. Let's go ahead and do our red. Probably can do more than one at a time, huh? Oh, yeah, that arrow just came on. Thank God. I can't wait for one, guys. I can use my back room. Well, the fireplace is what I'm referring to. Yeah, I would never, ever, ever mark my words, give up my craft room, and change it to another room of the house again. That's like the biggest tour I've ever had a bloody well do. <laughs> Red said three months later. Here we go again. Not a chance. <laughs> she says somebody should make a bet. Hi, Melissa. I would bet, but I have better stuff to spend money on. I got a smart kid. She said she would bet on that, but she's going to go ahead and save her money so she can buy books. <laughs> she knows me too well. But in my opinion, as of right this moment in time, not a bloody chance. Oh, I see a little pan. You scoot it that way out of the way. Okay. Let me go ahead and get this one. Maybe we can do more than one at a time, so we're not wasting time. Remember, you don't have to do it this way. You just cut them after you do it. But I just want to kind of keep the same length. The last one I did, I didn't keep the same length. And once I put it together... I ended up having to go back and just literally cut and cut and cut until I got a semi-decent size. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Okay. I'm sorry, love. Let's go ahead and do this. I feel like I'm, oh, I am missing two. Okay. So we're only going to do the three colors. Oops, get on it. They're not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Just hopefully about the profit thing. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. I was watching. Oh, hey, guys. If you haven't gone to YouTube... Melissa got her YouTube channel set up, and I'm getting mine set up. Um, Melissa's making some beautiful little hair pieces for your, your grandchildren and children. You might want to hop over there whenever you like and check it out. Who read? 
Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, Teresa. Welcome, you guys. Okay. All right. So, we should have all of these. I thought it's about three pipe cleaners here. So, let's see what we can make. What we're going to do first. Uh -huh. Go ahead and separate them by their colors so I can just grab what I want as we go. And how come there's only three? I messed up, guys. I got nope, there it is. Nope. All right, well, I miscounted. And we do have to get one more, so let me oh, cut that real fast. Oh, it's over there? Oh, we're flying. Okay. Thank you. We got them all. All right, so now we got our four colors, three colors for each. Go ahead and put them however you want to use them and mix them, change them as you go. It's all right. <laughs> My dog has hiccups. <laughs> oh, I should say red's the dog. It ain't mine. Okay. So, at this point, we'll go ahead. My first one, I'm going to go ahead and take the gold. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold it about so fall down. However fall down you go is how big you want your loops. But I'm going to come just above it and gather it. So just above will you, um, let me gather this. This is the hardest part for me because I do have no damage in my hand. So bear with me. See, you just want that so much left. It could be a little longer than that. But we're going to say that's good and pretend it is okay. <laughs> So here's our one bow. Looks pretty good. Straighten it out however you want it. Keep that in your hand. And let's do the next color. And this red one is hard to tell which side is up and which is down. Okay. So once again, just gonna fold it. I guess it's about I don't know, one third. I don't know how. And then once you get that far, go ahead and you just gather it. Just like you're uh, gathering your uh, mesh. And put this on top of the next one. You can flush it, adjust it, however you want to do it. I personally am not going to worry too much about that yet. Because we'll go ahead and take all gold. And do the exact same. Fold it in half. Although it depends on how long you want your bow. And get a hold of it. It was easy or earlier to hold this. It's being stubborn tonight. Bear with me. Come on, little one. There we go. And then we're just going to gather it like we would on mesh. And just going to go ahead and put it wherever we want to put it. So now I got my three bowls. These are all fairly the same size as you can see. And if they're not, this is a perfect time to do a little bit of adjusting. So we got a pretty three there. Okay, now we'll go ahead pull up all gold. I'm sorry, the soil. Go ahead and fold it about so far again. Okay. Oh, hi, Eva. Read some things. Is that what it said? And more. Hello, welcome. So we're going to go ahead. You got so much left on the end, remember? And then you just gather it together. I'm sorry, guys. This is the hardest part because of no damage. So. Good night. Oh, good night, Melissa. Thanks for coming, and we love you too. And you get some rest and feel better. And just gather it like you would your regular mesh, and then add it wherever you want it. I'm just gonna put it right here. Get a better hold of that. And we did red next. So go ahead and grab the red again. And wrong side, of course. Sorry, guys, it's just not working for me tonight. And we're going to gather just two or three times and put it wherever you want it. So I guess if you did red on, whoops, just do it the right way. If you did red on one side, you might want to do, put it on one side. You might want to put it on the opposite. So let's just go to the opposite. Let me redo that. I went too high. Let's do it again. Pull it together. Put it on the opposite side. 
and get a hold of them. There you go. Just put it in your hands. And then the next one would be all silver. Let's just fold it. Gather. Wanted to make this type of bow because one, you can just hook it right on your Christmas gifts if you want it. You can use it in a wreath. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. I personally am going to be making a Christmas wreath of some sort. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to twist that real fast there. There we go. We'll flush it later. So we'll work on that in a little bit. Once I figure out exactly what I want to do. Hi, Carol. No, I did not, unfortunately. It wasn't in the stalls yet for me to go there. Although it would have been great. Did you get to go? And we got a nice little one there. Once again, just decide where you want to put it. I think we'll just stick that right in the middle. And gather those tightly. Make sure they're all about the same size. That red one's pulling down just a little bit. Okay, so now we got what? We got six, so I want eight, I think. We haven't decided how big, oh, wait. No, I did the three of each last time, so I do want to go ahead and do four because I wanted this one bigger than the last one. So, go ahead and take this here. Uh, maybe next year, huh? Then we can all meet each other. Go ahead and gather this together. I think it was supposed to be red. It really doesn't matter the order you do it in, guys. It's strictly up to you. We all gonna go ahead and do the red first. Let me go ahead and fold that in half. Once again, if you can just hold these in your hands and have no problem, that'd be awesome. I, on the other hand, don't have that luxury. Uh, a lot of people. Ah, uh, I see. I understand. I'm going to go ahead and do this gold. Do one more each color here. Bring it down so far. I would be struggling doing this, huh, guys? I mean, you did it great earlier. Yeah, actually, you need some help. And we're just going to go ahead and gather. Why does he need help? What's wrong with them? Can't get past the bell. Oh. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and put this on the opposite side of where I have it. Oh, she he come over here. In case you're wondering, guys, we're actually talking about a bird. Not a person, a bird. But we love them. Bring that down here. And then once again, go ahead and gather. Sorry about the noise. Samson's being a pain. He doesn't like anybody messing with his cage, but he loves to come out and play. So, let's see. I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and three. We'll go ahead and use the last of these. Make it even. You do the red. It is so bloody hot here. The last one, I didn't make four. I just did the threes. So, we'll go ahead and gather. And then we'll go ahead and put it on the opposite side. I'll get that straight out just a wee bit. Okay. And our last one is a gold here. And let's just gather that. And we'll go ahead and put it just right over here and call that good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, you could use a um, zip tie, but since. Carol says, I like people, but. I'm going to the Texas Wreath Makers Roundup in Texas, so, you know. Oh, cool. That sounds like fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a pipe cleaner. And instead of a, um, uh, one of those things you pull, a Ziploc tie, because for moving from the back room to the front room, I don't know where they're at. So we're going to go ahead and use this and pretend this is what I wanted. <laughs> Once again, you just gather it right around all of them and get a hold of them. It's okay. I'm crinkling up, guys. It's wild. It's not that show. Because of my hands, I do have to fold it 
like this so I can get a grip. And then you just twist. Let me get a better grip than that. I notice it just slipped, and I don't want that to slip. And squeeze. There we go. Nice and tight, and then just twist it. I'm going to do about three, four times. And I'm not going to worry about my snail skin. Stems. I am going to bring you guys up to the bit. I'm not going to worry about that right now because we're going to tuck that underneath so that we can use this to help tie it on. Or you can use wire, whatever you want. Now all we do here is just start fluffing your bow. And just fluff it however you want. Just get it started and then you can design where you want them to go. If you like it there or not. There's no specific way you have to do anything. Strictly however you want to do it. Let's get this going. Oh, cool. That sounds like fun. Let me get this one going. Just trying to straighten them out. Bozo is not my strong point. Painting is my strong point. But we're going to do bow. Just because I thought it would be something different for me. Let's see if I can actually do it again. I did it once. Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> this one is actually three more bows in it than I used before. Let me get a hold of my snail stems. And now we're going to come over here. And we're just going to go ahead and start adjusting where you want your little ties to go. And just pull it. Make it go where you want it to go. Just get it going straight for now. And then you can adjust it and decide exactly where you want everything to go. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm trying to get this. Let's see if I can do it again. This is with three less ribbons. So, hopefully. Let's get this going. I'm not paying attention if I'm putting too many one color on one side because right now I'm just trying to get it where I work with all of them. Oops, almost put that one upside down. That's where that one's going to go that way. Can I have one there? It's the red one I'm after. Get this red one to come out. And now let's go over here. Let's just pull these out. Hi, Jacqueline. There it is. Hi, Jacqueline. Welcome. And let's get this one here going. Okay, it was a little twisted there. That's because my hands can't hold them as like everybody else's can. It sucks, let me tell you. And that one's upside down, so let's turn it the right way. Now we'll go ahead and flip it. Now we can start working how we want it to go. Because we got it flipped. Let's just pull maybe the gold over here. Pull red. That red will come over here a little more. Come on. There you go. Once you get them settled, you guys, then that's where you can go in and just kind of start flexing them how you want them to be. Thank God for a wild ribbon, right? Okay. Put this one here. We got some stuck here. Pull this out. Go down. This is always my hardest part, guys, right here. I really think this is the hardest part for me, is fluffy. And it sucks because it should be something that's so simple to do. Just pull it right over here. There we go. Get that to go. Okay. Let's just say that's good, even though it needs work. We'll pull them. Let's get this started because at least then we can see what we're doing. Okay. Here. 
this is if you want to do it by hand. You don't want to have to pull out the easy bowl or the pro bowl. You just want to make something fast. Like obviously for someone like me that's not very used to making bows, this isn't the fastest way to do it. But I thought it was kind of fun earlier when I tried it. So why don't we just try it again? We can sit here and talk. It's kind of a quiet night here, which is really surprising. Get this over here. This one didn't come out. And let's get these to go the right way. There we go. If they're not going the right way, guys, all you gotta do is give it a little twist to the way you want it to go. Thank God for wild ribbon. Oh, see. This one's not quite straight. Just pull it the way you want it to go. And fluff it on out. Back over here, my dog is gonna get ready to stop talking. Another thing came close to it. And oh my goodness, nothing can come close to that dog. <laughs> Can't blame her, she's really old. She's like, oh my god, 16 years old. Fluff it out just a wee bit, straighten out the ones you think are cricket. Which this one just don't want to whoop. There we go. There we go. Now, if I did it right, it'll semi work or look like the other one. And just laying these out. You could keep them all in one area if you want to spread them. But I wanted them for like on top of the reef. And I'm not quite sure how I want it to lay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for now. And then that way, when I decide exactly how I want it to look, I can readjust it. Let me fix this bow. Kind of got crooked there. And now with the, these little tails, just kind of fold them. Make them do whatever you want them to do. Hi, yes, Samson. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Oh, cool, Virginia. Okay, that was weird. Where that one come from? Oh. I was like, I only got one bird, and I hear two. Yeah, that it did. Okay, I saw what I didn't put. Oh, that's what my bow. There we go. Everything kind of fell down. Let me go ahead and put this little guy. I'm grabbing a tail. I just noticed cross over to another tail. And we're just going to fluff it down. Get this little ribbon here fluffed. And then if you don't like it later, guys, once you get it to your reef. And then we got our snail stem right here. Just take it and pull it well, that was good. Take it and pull it under the um, bow so you have it at the bottom. And you can use that to attach it and readjust just it however you want. So, I know it's not perfect, but it's not really going to bow yet. I'm going to raise you guys up. Watch your eyes. And hello again. So. It's a simple little bow, nothing fancy. The color, whoops, I'm sorry, smash it, right? The colors are just real simple and basic for Christmas. And hopefully it'll work on top of a package. And by looking in the mirror, I totally ruined this size. I just pulled, I mean, the camera. I just pulled all these pieces over. <laughs> Hi, Teresa, welcome. I should have done this earlier when I wasn't so worn out. Okay, well, you get the idea. Oops, it just doesn't want me to hold it. Okay, there we go. I would take a photograph and post it later. However, I decided to finally put it down, put it out. And I keep ruining that section right there where I put my hands every time. So anyways, we just got a cluster of ribbon, the basic colors for uh, Christmas. And it somewhat looks like this. Teresa says share. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate it. We're doing good, Tim. And then you got this one here. And those will go on the reef. And we toss that aside. Now the next thing is, um, instead of tails, I want kind of like little bows, but not those bows. 
So we were making these. Real simple. All it is is three of these colors. Which I used all of them, so let's cut out three pieces just real fast. It will not take long to do this one at all. Let me lower you back down. Hi, Becky. Welcome. So anyways, let me lower you down. All I'm doing with my ribbon, guys, is 16, well, technically 17 because of this end. 17 inches with my cuddle. And what right do I do? just cut three real fast. I can show you the next step. I really thought I had enough of them pre-cut. So at least this way I can at least show you how to do them. And I'm making approximately, we'll make eight of these for what I'm making. Funny, I was sitting here earlier, and on my front door, I have the, my Halloween cat. It's been sitting there for, well, over a year. I guess it's been over a year now, or going on a year. And I thought, well, oh, I ought to make some bows. I definitely ought to make a different bow for my Halloween cat. Because that one's kind of old. Let me set those out of the way. Okay. The next step is, you don't have to pre-cut the bottoms if you don't want, guys. Just take your ribbon. Use the same ribbons, the same ones that you used in your bows, okay? And fold it. Let's quit that. Silly dog. About the same width as you did the other one. Once again, just like you're gathering your mesh and put it in your hand. Fold it. Same thing. And just like you're putting it on your mesh. There you go. And then we're going to do our third color, which is all pretty red. I think this is actually double sided. Kind of cool. And gather. Will you quit that dog? And put it right here. Oh, forgot that allergy medicine. Anybody ever have a dog allergic to grass? I mean, seriously, allergic to grass. So we got to adjust these. Make sure they're all about approximately the same height. If you can, if they're not, just give it a little snug. Just a little tug here and there. And then not worry about it. Gather it together. Take your snail stem, just like you did with the um, bow. And I'm going to fold them in half because of my hands. You do not have to fold them. And I'm going to go ahead and twist it. I'm just going to do one long piece to attach it. I don't know why I'm doing it that way tonight, but I am. And then you just flatten it out and adjust your little petals here. <coughs> you got your three little petals off of your bow, if you will. I got a flower. And I'm doing every other one to be like, if this is gold, next time it'll be red. The red will be here. There's, you know, all the gold will be here. So will there. Just keep switching it out. So when you look at it, it's like, oh, look, there's a, yeah, something yeah. going on there, some kind of design going on in there. And then once you get to this little bow, let me raise you guys up. Just a wee bit here. Watch your eyes. Sorry, sorry. Once you get to this point, guys, once again, all you gotta do is cut your little uh, ducktails. And since I didn't pre cut them, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can do them all at once and get the idea, anyways. And fold it on these. I don't care if they're totally perfect, I'm not after that. This is just for me, anyways, just for fun. Get that cut off. And let me get a hold of the back. We got our little towels. <laughs> Everybody's getting colds and allergies. Sucks. Okay. And just get those however you want them. Excuse me, adjust them. And then this one. Oops, get that going like it's a bow. Remember, wild ribbon, you can pretty much do it however you want it done. And then once you put it on your reef, whether it's a grapevine or one of the metal ones, you put a little cute bow instead of the towels. I thought these were really cool. So we got a pretty little bow to go with it. I think this is not the one we made tonight. Let me grab that one. It still needs better adjusting by far. 
which it will get. I just masked it. <laughs> no, I did it twice. So anyways, now you got your little bows. I got my two bows, which I need it too. Let me toss that one aside so I don't ruin it. Samson. He wants to come out and play, guys. And I think I am pre-made about four of these. So I probably have four more to do. So anyways, that's it, really. Just something simple and fun. It didn't take long at all. Uh, the hardest part was, like I said, probably me gathering and holding them because of damage in my hands. But I'm not going to let that stop me. So let me bring you guys up. Watch your eyes. And as always, I thank you guys for joining me this evening. And forgive the mess. It's coming along. I will get my art room back. Well, a new one. And I got to fix my coat then. Yeah, I brought something in kind of. Yeah, wasn't cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful evening. Or day, wherever you're located. And as always, be blessed. Good night, Good night, love you. My video wasn't ending for me. No. Yeah.